My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. All right, welcome to Let's Play Contradiction Spot the Liar. Contradiction colon Spot the Liar, whatever. I'm going solo on this one. All of my friends are busy doing real life stuff, so it's just me. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of game. So here we go. So the game itself is a point and click adventure with dialogue options where the main mechanic is sort of a sort of a contradiction surprise surprise thing where you try to spot contradictions between what a suspect has said. Uh, the kind of neat thing about it oop, first clue. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. The nice thing about the game mechanic where you find contradictions is that... Is there another clue? There's another clue. I swear I'll get to this point in a second. Wow. Isn't that interesting? The nice thing, before the game interrupts me again, uh, is that you can sort of, you can't compare what one person has said to another person's claims, so you have to catch them out in their own lies, which is, I think, an interesting point, but you have to keep track of 
a bunch of things. I'm just wandering around right now. Uh, usually it's nice to wander around and see if there's just things lying around to take because there's also sort of an inventory system that's matched with the clues or embedded in the clues. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like uh, homebrew equipment. Ah, this might come in handy. Also, sometimes we just take stuff because we're a cop. We can do that. Um, you'll see what I mean about the clues in the inventory system. It's all kind of one thing all together. It's actually kind of interesting. So, there's also a system where... Looks like a piece of jewellery there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Where you can use parts of your inventory in certain locations, like this. Interesting. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. Mine now. Uh, I think we never actually have to go back to the jetty ever again. But let's get to the part of the game where we actually talk to people, which is the part we want to see. It's the part people like about the game. Is it Simon? Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. So this is where we ask about. Oh, yes, fine. This is where we start looking for contradictions and getting information about everything. All of our clues are over on the right, and we can ask about them if they seem important. Sometimes they won't. The key is not worth asking about. For example, it's just a key we found. So, when was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so. Last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? Like, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Just sharp. Died. Quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. She would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Well, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, <laughs> my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> and so we start to see one of the best things about the game is the acting. Uh, it's not overly convincing, but it is entertaining. And I think that's a big part of what makes the game enjoyable. Some of the acting is believable. Simon is pretty good. Our character, Jenks, is 
pretty animated and it's fun to watch him do stuff. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. Never seen it before. Which was the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at the farmhouse. I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. Recognize this at all? It does remind me of something. I don't know. I've seen it somewhere, but I... No, I don't know. So now we've asked him everything in our list, and he gave us another clue um, about his homebrew. So we're going to go visit his girlfriend, Thank you. Emma. you. probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. And we're going to go through the whole same thing. Uh, again. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. I have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Ever seen this? Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know? Lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. Not wine. I can't stand spirits either. That's it for Emma. She gave us a new clue. So we're going to go back and visit Simon again. This back and forth between people is also a big part of the game, but uh, you get used to it. <laughs> you know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. 
I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. And if you've been paying attention, that's our first contradiction. Because he's only known Kate for three months, but he saw the necklace that she wore in college and they were probably bad. Aha. Uh-huh. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um... No. No. <laughs> no, not at all. That's the first part of the game.